here at the World Heritage Site of Twiffelfontein, we're looking for the rock engravings from the Bushmen. It's like um, uh, kind of like a school. So they would like uh, one thing was that the kids were learning how to what animals are good animals and what animals they better stay up, stay away. And there were also like for like kind of artists like drawing beautiful giraffes and um, lions and yeah, and they were drawing with the sandstone. In other sense, of yeah. Then we see the giraffe and the head from Wartok, the footprints of giraffe, Oryx and Kutu, and here we see the footprints of lion and from Leopak. for me uh, uh, he, he is also suffering you know because he have a, a, a black uh, girl and uh, he's also black because he is looking for an, uh, an uh, vice of row white or white <laughs> so yeah. you can see his children during the night yeah. because his the children is so black yeah. you know look where's my kids <laughs> well, actually he wanted to say if you are having a white lady no need to buy electricity because he's already white <laughs> yeah <laughs> because i know so <laughs> Tosha National Park is about 22,000 square kilometers in size. That is about half the size of Switzerland. And about 20% of this size is flooded with water in the rainy season. So, but in winter, which, which, which is now, there is only a flat, slime salty area. And because of this flat, we saw a lot of animals, huge herds of elephants, many, many zebras, cute animal babies, and a lot of springboks. But no water buffaloes, no hippos and no crocs. Yeah, sure, there is no water. Okay, yeah, make, <laughs> kind of makes sense. <laughs> so we stayed at the Okakwayo camp in the west and at the Namutoni camp in the east. During dry season, water holes are the place to be for wild animals. And there are all sorts of events happening there. There are big business meetings, flirting giants, and giraffes practicing yoga. We so desperately wanted to see them drinking, but as they are quite vulnerable while in this strange position, we had to be really, really patient.
I really need to pee. Do you think I can just leave the car and I mean there's like No way, there are probably lions around. I don't see any lions. You still want to go to the toilet, or better, outside the car? Uh, I'm good, I guess. I can, I can, I can hold it. That's that's fine. Don't worry. We can <laughs> keep driving. You probably remember that we got attacked by a protective hyena mother in Shoshlue National Park. It felt like a deja vu when our friends got attacked the same way. It was way too dry at the Tosha National Park. And that's why we chose the water as a next destination. So we're here now at the river close to Popo Falls. Um, I guess it's also it's uh, time again for hippos, maybe crocodiles, and uh, I don't know what we're gonna find. The word O before they, they say the word. Okay. That is where the word Okavango comes from. But the real name is Kavango, which means it's a small place. Mm -hmm. 